Hi Sid, how are you? I'm good, how about you? I'm good too. Can you believe it? It's been so long since we've been back here. Yeah, I remember the last time I was here. My classes got suspended for COVID. Oh yeah, because um, when the pandemic hit, you were still studying here. Yeah. The last time I was here, it was during my graduation. It was a very emotional and meaningful time for me. So being back here really is nostalgic. Hi, I'm Dean Ong. I'm a graduate of Space Academy. I graduated in 2019. I'm currently a BS Health Sciences student in the Ateneo de Manila University. Started at PACE when I was still in kindergarten. From the times I spent with my teachers who really treated us like their own children, to all the silly times with my friends, PACE has given me a lot of long and lasting memories that I look back to even to this day. Wow, our trophies! Yeah, I didn't realize we had so many. Do you remember any of these trophies? There's so many. I wonder how many years does this accumulate to? <laughs> yeah, actually, I think it's uh, based on celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. It's been 20 years already. Do you ever wonder how it all started? Yeah, from, from what I remember, Dr. Lau and Mrs. Lau, the founders of PACE, they would share this, the story of how it all started with all of PACERS. There's so much love and so much history. Talaga. PACE is a miracle. God used me to start this school. My name is Eddie Lau, the principal. And I am Mrs. Lau, the school directress. I started at Spring Mattress Factory with the help of my father. But a fire burned down our factory in 1998. We felt that God was leading us in a new direction. My wife and I closed down the business to start Pace Academy. We started 2001 at home, and then we have five students, and he is the teacher, and I'm also the teacher. By God's grace, we were able to, to do it and to help uh, our students learn in Chinese and in English. We believe that God blessed us so much for us to be a blessing to others. We are just a channel of blessing to our students so that they can grow in Christian character and academic excellence. In 2002, we moved to where PACE is now and we started officially in the year 2002. At our first high school commencement, I told the graduates that at least they were part of three miracles. The first miracle is that you came. As a new school, we had very few students, especially at elementary. But we were able to have a class of 15 students. The second miracle is that you are good. We were a new school. Everybody was, was welcome. And everyone was looking at our first college entrance exams. Our first, first match was so good that we can hold our own against any established schools. The third miracle is that you stay. Retaining our students has been a big problem. I was resigned to being an elementary school, but a miracle happened. One of the students suddenly had a medical condition. Students and parents were very close. Leaving a friendly environment under such circumstances was probably not the best decision that parent decided not to transfer. Since one day, everyone stayed. So we were able to start our high school. A big miracle. There are many other miracles, and I believe that more are coming. Just join us and be part of the miracle. Wow, it's been seven years, man. Yeah, it's been so long since we've been here. This used to be a preschool classroom, and now it's a library. And are these Chinese words, you can still read them? Hua Jiao Qing Shen. It means this is the spirit of Chinese education. And these are the principles that PACE is guiding us in as they, with, with, with what they teach. Lucky for you, you still remember your Chinese. I need to brush up. Well, maybe we can brush up as we go through the rest of the school. Okay, maybe we'll remember. Let's go up. See? We emphasize more on Chinese conversation because we observe that some students are having a hard time speaking in Mandarin. 
just imagine knowing how to speak in English, Filipino, Mandarin, will really make you proud of yourself. I'm Dave Ong. I'm from Batch 2014 of Pace Academy. And right now, I'm working as a BPO Governance uh, Associate in Johnson & Johnson. Being the pioneer batch of Pace Academy, uh, it was a risk for my parents to take in order to enroll us in the school and uh, seeing it through all the way until graduation. But I think what happened was they really believed in the vision that Dr. Lau and Mrs. Lau were building when they set up this space in the first place. So my name is Sherwin Uy. I graduated from Pace Academy in 2014. After high school, I went to college in Ateneo and then Right now, I'm working uh, on our business. We graduated, we were only 14, so everything was new, everything was a first for us. But at the same time, it was very fun. We were very close with our classmates, and every year there was an event, even if we were a new school. So what was your favorite subject? Math, yeah. Math is definitely very helpful. I remember we used to have advanced math trainings for mm -hmm. the competitions, uh, when we used to go and compete with other schools nationwide. Definitely. And until now, right, I think it was really helpful because it helped us with our college entrance exams. Well, our college entrance exams results are very good. And practically, I think 99% of our students are able to get into the top four universities in the Philippines. We emphasize a lot on academic excellence, but studying should not be the only thing that our students are good at. We want everyone to have a sport or hobby that one enjoys and is good at. Patients should live a balanced life. So, Sid, this is my favorite place in Pace, the basketball court. Whoa! There's so many great memories here. I remember spending hours after training every day coming here. And we have been quite successful, just like our basketball team. In our first year, we lost all nine games that we played, 0-9. But we didn't give up. I personally challenged our students to train. During that time, there was lots of uh, expectations from other teams and from ourselves to win the title that year. The year before, we just finished third, at third place. During the off-season, the school made some adjustments. Coach Art, Coach Joel, and Coach Joseph really helped our team. Once we got the hang of the system and we were able to adapt to our new coaches, we started doing really well. We won our first championship about five years ago, 2017. I want them to be, he to be healthy and happy. They don't have to be champions. They should have something that they enjoy. The sports program in Pace Academy really taught me to be um, hardworking, disciplined, and driven. And I can say that I still apply these values to uh, other aspects in my life outside of sports. Sydney Alterado. I was a student in Pace Academy for 16 years and I am currently a second year BS Legal Management student in Ateneo de Manila. My experience as a Pacer, it was very fulfilling. I joined a lot of activities. I joined the theater club, I joined the glee club, I tried out for a swim team. I was actually the captain for Pace Women's Volleyball Team and I learned so much in with that responsibility, I learned how to reach out more to people because I was very introverted, so being the captain really helped me grow as a person. Hi, I'm Jed Dan, Batch Valedictorian of Batch 2020. I am currently studying BS Computer Science at UP Dileman. I'm super proud to be a Pacer and I've been taught the values of being a Pacer, namely being positive, affirmative, Christ-centered, excellence-oriented, and respectful. These experiences have shaped me to who I am right now and will continue to shape me for years to come. Mabait kasi yung mga Pacers. That's what people always say whenever I meet with people outside. They say that uh, Pacers are very kind and very helpful to others. I think that that's something that was taught very well to us as uh, students in school. Hi Dave. Hi Jed. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. Definitely. I still recall you being the previous student council president back in the years. It makes me remember all the events that we used to have in Pace. 
like um, the chapels that we used to have, uh, we used to have that every Monday actually during our time, where Dr. Lau would share us um, his stories of his life experiences or stories from the Bible and how that would teach us to grow and how we can apply that to our own lives. I was really inspired and tried to push that further by creating Growth Group. It was really such a spiritual and enlightening kind of activity and we really grew a lot from our faith. We want our students to know Pace Academy core values. In their everyday experiences, uh, core values are being taught and at least practiced. Hi, I'm Terence Earl Q, alumni of Pace Academy. Currently 23 years old, working in a corporate world. My parents sent both me and my sister to Pace, mainly because it's a Christ-centered school, where we were taught how God has an impact on each and everyone's journey of life. What Pace taught me ever since when I was a kid was how to be determined, how to be patient, and how to persevere when it comes to doing stuff. The impact of Pace to me personally is being taught grit and discipline, which I believe is two of the factors that leads to someone's success. Grit is a function of passion and perseverance. Pace emphasizes that we must do our best for Christ, because that is the only work that matters. We were really taught to be respectful. So here, uh, when talking to teachers, when, to, when talking to our kuyas, to our ates, to the kuya guards, everyone, no? we were really taught to, to say po and to, to be respectful. Understands that people are created in God's image, so worthy of respect despite their sinfulness. I encourage all of the alumni to, to give back, to still be active, to reach out and to be in contact um, with the school and, and help in any way that we can. For my fellow alumni, I enjoin you to help in our alumni association as we continue to build the legacy of Pace Academy. Our alumni are very important, part of Pace Academy family. They are our product and we need them to shine for God and also for Pace Academy. Jid! Jid! Wow! I haven't seen you in so long! Yeah, you still look pretty, huh? Oh, you look good, too! <laughs> so, how long has it been? Back 2018, I guess? Oh, yeah! We did the fun fest. We are so lucky to be part of this community. Definitely! But we haven't been here, right? Yeah, looks like it. Do you, do you want to check it out? Yeah, sure, let's go! Wow! It's so nice! We pray for a bigger place because Pace Sergeant Rivera cannot accommodate more students. Even our students were praying for the lot behind our school during our chapel time. God knows our needs. We have been praying for years for a bigger place. Finally, answered prayer. We are very thankful that we acquired Pace Talayan Campus. We acquired the school in year 2018-2019. And we plan to move our preschool and elementary here. So, and then since it is inside a, a subdivision, it will be very safe and, and also be improve, improve other facilities. I believe God has a wonderful plan ahead of us. Since we have two campuses, we will have Pace Talayan Campus for preschool and elementary. And Sergeant Rivera, Pace Sergeant Rivera, will be for junior high school and senior high school. God willing, we will not only be a school for Chinois, but we will also serve the Filipino community. We will have an online school first, and then another campus for those who don't take Chinese. The school year ended on March 2019, early because of pandemic. We really cannot understand God's will, but all we can do is to abide in Him. His ways are better than our ways. So, 
looking back, the batch after us, they from 14, they were 25. And after that, I think there were only 60. And then until now, we already have two campuses. So the growth is very it's exponential. It's tremendous. No? I mean, thank you to Dr. Lau and Mrs. Lau for taking care of all of us, of our school, of our alma mater. Basically, built the foundation well for, for my family and for other students. Pace Academy emphasizes a lot on character building and academic excellence. To the teachers in Pace Academy, specifically to Ms. Mercado and Mrs. Tugade, I really thank you for your passion and dedication to your work. And I hope that you still continue to provide quality education for the students to come. Good luck to all of the current students of Pace Academy. I hope you're all watching this and be proud of that you're a Pacer. As our school anthem goes, Pace is a miracle. To our parents, thank you for giving us the opportunity to teach your children. Thank you also for your trust in us. To our alumni, I am sure that you are all performing well in whatever field you are in. We are proud of you and we believe you are able to touch lives and make this world better with the values and learning skills that you have acquired at Pace Academy.